Hello, everybody. Uh, today, I'm talking about Transit Kal Sarpa Yoga and the uh, total dominance of Rahu Ketu over the planets. Uh, we have uh, Kal Sarpa in our chart, or we can have Kal Sarpa by transit. And I have been watching these uh, transits for many years, and I find that they're very important to know and also learn how to navigate through them. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton, and we are discussing Kal Sarpa Yoga by Transit. So uh, the thing is this Kal Sarpa, it happens in your natal chart when all the planets are hemmed in uh, uh, inside the Rahu Ketu axis. And uh, you can also experience it by transit. The difference between natal chart and transit is that everybody is experiencing it together. So often the transit Kal Sarpa Yoga affects uh, politically. And you can see uh, the world getting affected uh, during these Kal Sarpa transits. Uh, not everybody studies Kal Sarpa Yoga. In fact, I made a video on uh, what is Kal Sarpa Yoga. I'm putting a link about it, uh, but a number of you wrote and said that it is not there in classics and we don't follow it. And I accept that. And I uh, actually, if you listen to my video recording, I have said that, that many people don't follow Kal Sarpa Yoga. Uh, now, one of the things that I always uh, took when I was studying Jyotish was that I uh, listened and followed what were the, uh, you know, rules of uh, Parashar astrology, which is what I follow. But then I look beyond it because people discuss things and we get to know. And then through experience that you see uh, and over the many years of experience, I personally feel that uh, we should not ignore Kal Sarpa Yoga. Now, I totally uh, respect your reason that you want to uh, not study Kal Sarpa because that is also, you know, um, up to an individual. Uh, but uh, this transit that is taking place of Kal Sarpa, that is from uh, now, it is uh, starting on 30th of July to 12th of August. And then uh, 26th of August to 9th of September. And two really important things happen. One is that Saturn has gone inside Ketu just now. And uh, all the faster moving planets are inside Ketu. Now, Kal Sarpa, this time is the shortest duration because then, um, you know, planets will start moving out of it in September and the Kal Sarpa will not carry on for months and months. But what happens with Kal Sarpa is that every 15 days, the moon comes out of Kal Sarpa. Then moon is breaking the Kal Sarpa. But when the moon is breaking the Kal Sarpa, it creates a, 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 an isolated mind. So on one level, the mind is totally isolated. On the other level is that uh, the uh, Rahu Ketu are gripping the planets and not allowing them to function properly. Uh, so in essence, one should look at this whole uh, period as uh, uh, complicated. But uh, often uh, what I've noticed is because the nature of Rahu Ketu is that they want what you want and uh, they don't want you to function. Uh, so when they become dominant, uh, they uh, don't allow the energy of the other planets to operate. Uh, so these uh, periods, and so uh, you can watch it and see how you feel. And what I feel is that in an individual who's not used to Kal Sarpa, I don't have it in my chart, you may not have it in your chart, suddenly the situation is there that things are uh, uh, controlled and half the chart is empty. Uh, so we have to see uh, the uh, aspect and then uh, try to balance ourselves uh, during this time. And then a uh, moon gets isolated. So then moon is, uh, the mind is trying to get out of the conundrum, try to solve the situation. So what are the things that you can do? Firstly, uh, you should not take decisions that are going to unsettle you uh, because you are taking decisions that unsettle you 
then that is not a good thing to do. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, you should uh, very much know that these are times that you don't know how to operate in them. Uh, so uh, keep calm and not to uh, uh, exaggerate uh, the situation. Uh, because Rahu Ketu, they want you to feel anxious or worried. Uh, you know, these Kal Sarpas have been happening for the last many years because Saturn and um, Rahu Ketu were in, um, Saturn Jupiter were inside Rahu Ketu. But now uh, we will see that uh, Saturn will come out, uh, Jupiter, they'll go into a different dimension. So this particular uh, uh, Kal Sarp, which is going to take place with uh, Rahu in Gemini, Ketu in uh, um, Sagittarius. And you'll see that Ketu and Saturn are very tightly conjunct, but Saturn is inside uh, Ketu, so it's not outside Ketu. Therefore, Ketu is the dominant uh, planet. So um, uh, again, let me remind you of the dates, 30th of July to uh, 12th of uh, uh, August and 26th August to 9th of September. And the period between them, uh, that is uh, between 12th of August to 26th August, moon is isolated. That means it's on its own trajectory. So the mind is thinking all sorts of ideas not held down by uh, restrictions and uh, so uh, keeping our mind in check, not uh, making it uh, spoil things for us is important. Of course, it does depend on what dasha you're going through, what transits you're going through. That is also very important. Uh, so finally, the best remedy for Kal Sarp is to uh, deal with, uh, pray to Lord Shiva. Uh, to I've already given you to not make big decisions that will unsettle you. Uh, and not to create an unsettled environment for yourself. Otherwise, you watch how the uh, politics of your country or the you know, world issues are happening because during Kal Sarpa, sometimes some things just get stuck and uh, they create an unsettled environment for everybody. Uh, so uh, that is it for today. All the best. Check out my website, komela.com. Thank you very much.